Walker. Oh, he give that one straight away there. And the clearance comes in from Rankin. Goodman holds it up. Tankock in control and elects to play it first time, only as far as Mark Atkins. And this is Darren Ferguson now. Ferguson hasn't scored many goals, but he can lay on a great ball for Goodman, and it's going to be there! Well, Wolverhampton get their first goal of the afternoon, and it was a, a great ball, a defence-splitting slide rule pass there from Darren Ferguson that played in Don Goodman, and Don Goodman said, I don't make mistakes with those ones, and uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers have the lead. Atkins plays it to Tony, da Tony Daly. Good skill there by the Wolves man. Tony Daly, he's on target, and Tony Daly makes it 2-0. And to be quite honest, Tony, that was quality finishing, if ever I've seen any here at Vale Park. An excellent finish. I don't think he thought that he dived. There was a legitimate claim for a penalty there, and the referee just didn't see it, so... Well, we've had an own goal there. And it's number 16, Richards. Well, we'll forget all talk of the penalty, Tony because Port Vale with the original corner as we were going on about the penalty down the Wolves, down at Molyneux. Wolves punched the ball clear, it's played back in and as Dean Richards went to like clear that ball, he's just managed to put it straight into the back of his own net. You'll be hearing from Mike in about uh, eight minutes' time to take you through the, uh, the end of uh, 90 minutes. Running onto this one is Guppy. Go on, Steve Guppy. Mount Glover saved on the line, and that's got to be a penalty. That's got to be a penalty, and if the referee has read the laws of the game correctly, then the player must walk. Lee Glover put the ball onto the goal. Mark Rankin, it was, that was on the line that stopped it, and he's off. The referee had no option. The referee had no option. Mark Rankin stopped the ball with the left arm. Well, we've got a little bit of a confusion up here because uh, I think that um, he, had, he legitimately attempted to save the ball fairly. It made contact with the left arm, and in my book, the player goes. The referee can only interpret that law one way. Up steps the skipper, Andy Porter, to take the penalty. And uh, Port Vale have a chance to get on level terms with the first penalty he's seen here at Vale Park this season. Go on, Andy Porter. It's there! Leads through the front as Andy Porter and gets his team well and truly back in the match. And let's face it, it's no more than they deserve for the, pre the pressure they've put on the Wolves goal. 